Looking ahead at both the Dolphins and the Texans' schedules, there is a slight possibility Miami could end up within the top five of the draft. The Texans will face off against the Cincinnati Bengals, who are coming off a win against the 11-3 Pittsburgh Steelers. If Cincy is able to pull this win off, the two will have four wins and, thanks to an early season tie by the Bengals, the Texans would leapfrog them in the draft order. Then the Texans will set off against playoff-bound Indianapolis. The Colts have been great all year, and with the race for the division as close as it is, I have high doubts the Indy would bench their starters. For the Dolphins, the focus is locked on into the playoffs. Currently, if the Dolphins win out they are in, but if they lose the red-hot Baltimore Ravens are right on their tails. With the Las Vegas sinking ships, I mean Raiders, and Buffalo Bills left on the schedule, the playoffs started early for the Dolphins. With one foot in the icy draft waters, and the other in the warm playoff picture, this mock draft aims to draft aims to fix the clear holes the Dolphins have and what I project can help push them over the top for years to come. This week's mock draft comes to us from official NFL mock draft database. These picks are based on who was available and what holes the Dolphins must address. Alabama W.R. Devonta Smith It's official, at least in my eyes, Smith has surpassed Jamar Chase as the top wideout in this year's draft class. That by no means is a slight to how talented Chase is, but Smith has dominated the competition all season long and has shown that he could even win the illustrious Heisman Trophy. Smith has had a monster season, putting up 98 catches, 1,511 yards and 17 touchdowns, leading Alabama wideouts in each category. It is obvious his targets went up once fellow projected first-rounder Jalen Waddell went down, but he continues to impress weekly. The biggest reason I have moved Smith up to wide receiver one status is his consistency and the fact that he has tape coming out of T20. Yes, Chase opted out of the season due to COVID-19 issues, but will he be as dominate as he was last year with this current LSU football team? We won't ever know and that might be a good thing for Chase. For the Dolphins this selection makes sense on multiple levels. For one, they need additional depth at wideout and a great number two alongside Devontae Parker. In the 2020 draft, the Minnesota Vikings took LSU wideout Justin Jefferson 22nd overall, even though they had Adam Thielen. One professional year was all it took Jefferson to make it to the Pro Bowl. For Jefferson the situation mattered, Stefan Diggs was gone and targets were open, but for the Dolphins there is an already laid foundation between quarterback Tua Tungavailoa and Smith. That foundation is built from coming into Alabama in the same recruiting class. Smith is the best pick for the Dolphins here on multiple levels, and his meteoric rise might net him even higher in the draft. It should not be considered a reach at all if the Dolphins were to take Smith anywhere in the top 10.